People, am I audible to all of you? Eight minute, eight minute, I think. Now I think you can type the comment. Yes, yes, yes. So pe people, we are good to go. Uh, we would we would start uh, in in a short while. Now, yesterday, <clears throat> if you remember, we had done uh, the session on parajambles, right? So I had <clears throat> I told you that. Parajambles, the strategy part, we discussed why it is important. We discussed that the, 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 the most important part of the entire discussion was that parajambles should not be completely abandoned. Many people uh, say that should, should we leave parajambles entirely? I tell them never, never make that mistake of leaving something entirely. Even before the exam, lots of people decide that we, we will not take parajambles. That's a very, very bad uh, thought or idea. Because in the exam, you might come across at least at least one or two questions out of three that could be doable. And if you already have this preconceived mindset of leaving the question, even before you have started the paper, that means you will not even look at them. The negative attitude or the negative mindset towards parajambles would have already uh, made you leave those questions. So please, please don't stay away from it entirely. Second thing is that uh, I told you that in VA, you have to at least aim for 12 marks. 
So out of eight questions, try to get four correct at least, because that means from the from the rest of the RC part, you have to get at least 18 to 20 marks. So that distribution helps you take the pressure off from reading comprehension. Otherwise, you will have so much pressure that even if you miss one passage or there is one difficult passage, the entire paper is gone. So the whole strategy is, is at risk. The second learning that we had. So the third learning that we had, I told all of you that odd one out is just nothing but a cousin brother of parajambal. So the strategy that you use in parajambal is very similar to the strategy that you're using in odd one out. So today we would be discussing odd one out. 30 marks will fetch how much percentile? 30 marks, I think, should fetch you around. If it's a, if it's a difficult paper, it should be 95, 96 percentile. If it's an easy paper, it is 91, 92 percentile. So last year, I think, I think at 30 people crossed 91, 92 percentile. So 30 is like 25 is like you are safe because most of you would cross 88, 90 percentile at 25 marks. At 30, you would cross uh, 92, 93 percentile. If the paper is a little on the difficult side, you will definitely cross 95 percentile. So 30 marks is like the place where we all want to be for the sake of ensuring that all our cutoffs are above 94, 93 percentile. Okay. So out of that 30, if you get 12 from VA, then 18 is from RC. And getting 18 in RC from 48 marks is quite manageable vis-a-vis uh, -vis getting 30 from 48 marks because that makes little difficult. The entire game becomes very difficult. Now I will come to the odd one out part. Okay. Now, odd one out, uh, if given a choice, if you have one question from Parajumbal and one question you have from odd one out, I would preferably say that you go to the odd one out first. It's not that odd one out is always easy and easier than Parajumbal. It's just that odd one out, you have to find the odd one without taking the headache of arranging the sentences. Arranging the sentence means that one sentence here and there and you get total negative. On the other hand, in odd one out, the arrangement headache is not there. You do the arrangement, but you're not concerned whether two will come first or one will come first. You know that one, two is a pair. So they have to go together. But which one will come first is not your headache. So because of that less headache, the odd one out can be solved a little more confidently. And the probability of getting the right answer is high. I will tell you why. You know that two, three, and four are similar. So they will not be the odd one out. So you are left with one and five. You know that out of these two, one is the answer. So there is 50% probability of getting the correct answer. That's why I always say that the probability of getting the correct answer is the highest in summary because there are four options. 25% chance is that you will get the correct option. Then comes the odd one out. 20% chance because there are five options. Technically, there are five options, though there is no option given to you. But out of five sentences, one is odd. So 20% chance. When you come to parajungle, the probability is still lower. But in Parajambal, if you are sure with one pair and the odd one out, uh, sorry, one pair and the opening sentence, then you are quite confident that you will get the answer. So my preference in the exam would be paragraph summary, odd one out, and then Parajambal. So I would try to finish all the summary questions fast without wasting much time on any. Then I will go to the odd one out quickly, and then I will go to the Parajambal. So preferably, if there is one summary which I don't understand, it's very difficult, I will leave it. Odd one out, I will try to take both. If something is very complicated, I'm not able to give my time to it, I would quickly finish it off and say, let's not waste time. So eventually, all the eight questions in VA can be touched upon in little about 10, 12 minutes. So you can give more time to the easier ones and try to get them correct. I know that under pressure is going to be not so easy, but at four questions can be gotten correct. And that is what the overall assessment is. And if you get four correct in VA, you are almost there. Because RC may be nickel aggregate. Now I will come to the uh, odd one out part, the strategy of the odd one out part. Correct? So, odd one out, uh, generally, people have two ways of solving the question. One is uh, three questions, sorry, two questions will come in the exam. Last year's pattern, the pattern can change. There is no hard and fast rule. Sorry to interrupt, it is possible for one question. Yes, it is possible to solve 19 questions. You have to ensure that in see if if the paper is on the easier side little on the easier side it is possible to solve 90 questions it's not difficult because understand this, there are rcs in which you 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 spend time in in reading the rc but then you solve two questions back to back so when it averages out you can solve 19 questions 
in some questions you might take one minute only for one question i got to yes i will yesterday's session is there on youtube i will share the link today's session also by the evening will come on youtube theek hai now odd one out two questions will come in the exam ideally try to attempt both the both the questions the overall strategy is there are two methods for odd one out one method is theme based approach what is theme based approach it says that four sentences talk about all the positive things of online education and there is one sentence that talks about the negative things so because it is talking something different from what the other four sentences talk this is the odd one out that is how people go with the odd one out stuff right theek hai ha thinking hota hai matlab ki theek hai you know that all these are similar so people say let's go with the theme based approach theme based approach can work when the question is very very easy uh the other is basically pj approach what is pj approach pj approach basically means you actually you actually sit and uh take the question the way you would have solved para jumble and the one that you have difficulty in in accommodating in the sequence well, that becomes the odd one out so this is like foolproof method foolproof ka matlab kya hota hai there is no loophole in it the chances are you will get the question 100% correct in this method the question can be correct it can be done very quickly but it may be wrong or answer could also be wrong because you might have been uh, deceived by the question so try start with this approach when you when you start the odd one out start with the theme based approach read all the sentences and see if you can find something which is different from the others if you feel that everything is the same there is not much of a difference then you go with the pg approach the reading will not take much time because hardly 30 30 seconds you will take to read all the sentences quickly you can make out there out there is one pairing and the moment you have one pair it becomes almost 33% of getting the right answer okay so my my suggestion is my suggestion is that when you look at the odd one out try to find a pair i will tell you why i so much emphasize on try to find finding a pair try to find a pair why because out of four five sentences 1 2 3 4 5 5 if there are two sentences that form a pair that means most likely they will go together so both of them cannot be the odd one out always follow this process two sentences if they form a pair then both are highly unlikely to go out so your probability of getting the right answer increases from 20 to 33% why because you realize that 2 and 5 is a pair they are they cannot be disturbed 5 makes sense because 2 is there and 2 makes sense because 5 is there that means both of them have to be there 1 or 3 or 4 is the odd one out and if you can find something similar to 2 and 5 then your answer comes to 50 50% that's why i feel that you can use this kind of technique to arrive at the answer that is forming a pair having an opening sentence and then playing with the other two to check whether it fits with the other three or not the one that fits the most will be your part of the sequence the one that that does not is the right answer so this can actually give you uh, so this is a mix of both theme based and para jumble approach so in odd one out you straight away start with a pairing try to find a pair kahan koi pair ban sakta hai kya pairing ka matlab ye hai ki 2 1 could be a pair or 1 2 could be a pair 2 5 could be a pair or 5 2 could be a pair that is what i mean by a pair they have to go together so without wasting much time ha theme based kabhi kaam nahi karta dekho i will tell you why team based approach is basically acha theek hai kya alag hai so there are five sentences in all the five sentences oh, sorry in in out of five sentences there are four sentences in which you see uh, that the word oxygen is given in one sentence there is no word oxygen so you feel it is the odd one out that's a very poor way of approaching the question the theme based approach is pure luck that's why i never endorse the theme based approach i always endorse the para jumble approach because that gives me a uh, confidence that my 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 job has been done correctly now you will see the questions all these are cat questions that i am taking right now and i will show you how the para jumble approach works in which you have used pairing to arrive at the answer in a shorter amount of time theek hai so i will share the uh, sheet with all of you ek minute all of you can see the sheet here everyone i am scrolling it down here so there are eight questions i believe i should be able to finish all the eight theek hai now one i i have taken these questions for my students but then i am taking all these again for the sake of revision i have taken only those questions which are which are which are little on the average difficulty side see when you have a very difficult question and you are discussing it you might learn something from it but the idea is that even in the mocks 
डोंट बीट योर हेड ऑन वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन सर मेरे को समझ में नहीं आ रहा है सर क्या करूं मैं आई एम नॉट फाइंडिंग इट माय क्वेश्चन इज वेर यू एबल टू डू दी अदर इजियर क्वेश्चन सो एन इजी क्वेश्चन दैट यू गेट रॉन्ग शुड बॉदर यू मोर देन अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन दैट यू गेट रॉन्ग because a difficult question on the day of the examination anyways is highly unlikely to be gotten right by you but an easier question is where you will lose the race so please understand this easy question if gotten wrong needs more thought from you than a difficult question theek hai seventh question all of you please try and tell me that would you go with the theme based approach or would you go with the parajumbal approach please take this question Everyone gives the answer. देखो सबने किया होगा सातवां क्वेश्चन राइट सातवां क्वेश्चन सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन एवरी वन मस्ट है रीजन इज एवरीवेर यू सी टेनिस यू सी रॉजर फेडर ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवेर इफ यू गो बाय थीम बेस्ड अप्रोच यू बेसिकली विल बेसिकली गेट द क्वेश्चन रॉन्ग हाईली लाइक यू विल गेट द क्वेश्चन रॉन्ग नाउ यू गो बाय अरिंग अप्रोच विच टू सेंटेंसेज or which two pairs of sentences definitely will go together can you give me any hint let's say ye dono saath mein jayenge which two which two sentences do you think will go together have to go together to one saath mein jayega everyone says that ba will go together if you look at ba they basically are different from the rest देखो बी एज अफिनेटली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक ऑफ बी विल बी गो विद दी अदर थ्री नो बी विल नॉट गो विद दी अदर थ्री बिकॉज इफ यू पुट बी एंड इफ यू टेक एनी अदर सेंटेंस डज गो डज बी गो विथ सी नो इट डज नॉट गो विथ सी लुक एट बी सी सच एटी पेयर विम्बल्टन ग्रेटेस्ट इल्यूजन इज अंस ऑफ टाइमलेसनेस एट थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एज रॉजर फेडर बिकेम ओल्डेस्ट मैन अच्छी बात है बट ये बी सी में कुछ तो होना चाहिए साथ में देर हैज ऑलवेज टू बी अनेक्शन बिटवीन टू सेंटेंस देर हैज टू बी स्मूथ ट्रांजिशन बी से सी पे आ जाओ कुछ भी करो फिर तो बैठ के इसका मतलब क्या है बी सी विल नेवर गो टूगेदर सो इफ बी सी विल नॉट गो टूगेदर हाउ कैन यू गो टू बी डी और बी दैट मीन्स बी हैज टू मेक सेंस ओनली विथ ए विम्बल्टन ग्रेटेस्ट इल्यूजन इज द सेंस ऑफ टाइमलेसनेस इट इवोक्स over the past fortnight one of its finest champions managed to pull off a similar impression i told you yesterday that the pronouns can be used effectively to connect sentences right ab mujhe ye batao what do you mean by a similar impression and what does it's refer to can you make sense of these two words and can you connect these two words with something in b please tell me can you connect these two with something in b quick quick people you have to be very sharp ha huh. it's kiske sath jayega wimbledon ke sath right all of you agree this will go with wimbledon wimbledon is, is a tournament and champions are of a tournament hai na champion usi ka hoga na tournament ka cricket ka bhi champion ho sakta hai but then tournaments will have champion you don't have football champion of football you have champion of football world cup you have champion of euro so over the past fortnight one of its finest champion wimbledon's finest champion managed to pull off a similar impression ye similar kya hai sense of timelessness samajh mein aa raha hai na so b and a work as if they are they are you know brothers going together b hai to a hai a hai to b correct now once you have b a as a pair one thing you are very certain that neither a nor b is the odd one out correct this is what we call as theme based uh, sorry uh, a pairing pairing wala approach ab is a pair if b has to be there then a has to be there if a is there then b is there answer has to be from either of these did you understand now this is the first step 
of arriving at the right answer. Now you are 33% close to the right answer. Now he makes sense only if you talk of Roger Federer. Yes or no? So can I say even C has to be there for D and E to make sense? That means the answer is either D or E. 50-50% now. Your probability is of, of your probability of getting the right answer is increasing by every intelligent step that you are taking. Now you tell me, out of D and E, which one is the odd one out? They both have Frederick, they both have championship. Which one do you think is little odd than the rest? Archika, is say, Archika says that it is D. What about the others? Everyone says D. And D is indeed the right answer because it is not talking about what. Now look at the, look at the consistency of the discussion. Wimbledon's greatest illusion is the sense of timelessness. Take a timelessness here. Over the past fortnight, one of its finest champions managed to pull off a similar impression. Any kya? Timelessness. At 35 years and 342 days, Roger became the oldest man to win. That means, again, time has come into picture. He won the title for the first time in 14 years. And now, again, at this age, he has again won the tournament. And given the way he plays, there is a cause to believe that he will continue to enchant for a while longer. Again, time has come. Time. Everywhere you will feel that time is coming as a theme of the passage and this time is with respect to Roger Federer's game of ten, of, of uh, Roger Federer's uh, style of playing. Can I say D is definitely the odd one out because the passage is not concerned with how he performed in the tournament. The passage is concerned with how this performance shows a sense of timelessness. Everyone agrees that once you shortlist D and E, you realize that D is the odd one out. So you have arrived at answer D not by simply reading the sentences. You have taken the PJ approach, the pairing approach, and then gradually and confidently you have arrived at the answer. You have to increase that probab probability of arriving at the answer. Everyone is clear about it, people. Please tell me. This is the approach that I feel is the best. A mix of both. A mix of parajumble approach, a mix of pairing, a mix of theme also. So there is not one specific way by which you arrive at the answer. In maths also, but you use intelligent guessing, shortcut, all these things and you arrive at the answer, which if, if very method methodically done, you would have taken, let's say, five minutes to arrive at the answer. Okay? Chalo. So seventh question is done. Let's see if this approach can be used in some of the questions that came last year. So I will show some questions that came last year. Uh, This one came last year. Please try this. Question number two. Okay. Three, four, three, four, three, four, submit the Now, can you go with pairs? Pella kaam koro pair bano. Koi pair ban rahe hai. Do you see any pair? You might have got the answer. Bahut badiya chiz hai. Pair bana hai kuch? Two one pair ban rahe hai kya? China, 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 Chinese, Pro Bollinger, Chinese, Chinese, ek minute, huh? Chinese, Chinese, hai, Chinese, hai, Chinese, China. How would you go ahead with this? So it's a little, little complicated. You cannot use a theme based approach, but you have to read the sentences. They often include a foundation course. Ye de kya ho sakta hai? First, try to fit this, and this will help you form a pair. Ye de kis ki baat kar rahe? Can you fit this? 
they often include a Chinese B school, right? So, so you will say, okay, okay, sir, let's start with Chinese B school. So there is no Chinese B school here. There is no Chinese B school here. Their business is come the their business and they refers to someone. Their business courses now largely cater to the growing demand from China, which has become more global. The best Chinese business schools and like their Western rivals, but are uh, the best Chinese B schools look like their Western rivals, but are now growing distinct in terms of what they teach. So the Chinese B schools are getting distinct in terms of what they teach. So if the Chinese B schools are distinct in terms of what they teach, then can I say that the next sentence should show how they are distinct? Are you getting the logic? You said that the best Chinese B schools look distinct from their Western counterpart. So, आगे आने वाला जो sentence है इसी के बारे में elaborate करेगा ना यार कि चाइना से आप इसका टिबेट पहुंच जाओगे. That is what we call as para jumble. In para jumble, one idea, whatever you have introduced, gets elaborated or added on by the other idea. That's why it is always linear in direction. थोड़ा भी यहाँ वहाँ जाओगे तो odd one out हो जाता है. So the best Chinese B schools look like the Western rivals, but now they are distinct in terms of what? In terms of something. They often include a foundation course on navigating capitalism. Their business course is now largely catered to growing demand from China. Okay, now 215. Now 215 or 251, you don't have to take attention. What did I say? The odd one out is easier than parajumble because the headache of sequence is not there. You know that two will open. You know that one and five refer to Chinese B school. But whether it is 215 or 251 is not your headache. So 251, you have two. Five one is one unit. Answer has to be from three or four. क्या लग रहा है? कौन सा आंसर होगा? Three होगा ना आंसर? Western schools have announced their offering. अरे उससे क्या करना अपने को? Western school कुछ भी करें. So this 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 looks like the odd one out. Because four says for students, a big draw is the chance to work closely with capitals of China private. So, bhaiya, their business courses now largely catered to the growing demand from China. And because they are, they, they are changing their business uh, kya bolte hai, courses, then the student has a good chance to basically rub shoulders with captains of China. So, they are all talking about China's B school, Chinese B school. Western schools have announced their offering. Achhi baat hai, karte roho, yaar. Usse kya karna mere? Did you understand now, people? So, what we did see again? <laughs> the pairing approach has helped us a lot. We know that two, one, and five belong to one category. The answer has to be from three and four. ये काम करो. Para jumble से देखो यार ये मैं बता रहा हूँ कि easily easy question होगा तो फट से बनेगा. थोड़ा भी difficult होगा तो आपका देखो अपने क्या करना है ना time बहुत waste नहीं करना. पता है बच्चों क्या बोलता हूँ? Wrong भी करना है तो दो मिनट में करो. Right करना है तो भी दो मिनट में करो. Because the time that you take to do right or wrong is critical. चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं without wasting time. Now ये आपको समझ में आ गया. So let's try to use this same approach in one more question. ठीक है इसमें try मारते हैं. चलो. This also came in CAT 2021. Please re-log in if you can't see.
So people have given the answer. So can we say which is the pair? Quickly, any pair that you see here? I think there is one pair which I see, and that is five and one. Is it so? Is it only I who sees this? Hena? Five one pair ban rahe na? Five one will go together. Can they form a can they form a unit? Uh, if technology reflects the perspective of the male stereotype, then new technologies are unlikely to accommodate the male stereotype. Hena? A typical example is Wikipedia, where the overwhelming majority of contributors are male. So male stereotype and overwhelming contributors are male. So I know that these two are basically going together. If one is that, the other has to be there. Then any other thing. So five and one is one unit. Can I can can I add something more to it? Three, gross gender inequality because male contributors, male stereotype. So gender inequality is definitely the discussion that we have here. Gross gender inequality in the technology sector is problematic. Not only for the industry, wide marginalization of women. So again, you have so 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 five, one, and three. Now I'm not arranging them. I'm just putting them. Ye tino saath mein aayenge. Aage piche hoga mujhe pata nahi hai. The moment I go with the sequencing, I'm wasting time. Five, one, three is is one unit. So answer has to be from two and four. Yes. Without diversity of thought and representation, society is left with a distorted picture of future options, which are likely to result in augmenting existing inequalities. So, can I say this becomes the opening sentence actually, because diversity could be anywhere. So, gender diversity is one such point. Hey na, society is left with a distorted picture of. So, can I say that this could become the opening sentence where you discuss diversity and inequality, and gradually from here you basically move to something else. Yes or no? So two five one three is a pair. Out of two and four, don't you feel that two is closer to this than four? Yes. As an opening sentence, everyone feels that two is closer to this unit than four is. See, this is where I say, you know, it is easy to connect. Five one three with two, then five one three with four. Now, see, understand. Many people would say that if you start with two, what would you do? I would open the paragraph. Diversity of thought is very important, and then I come to technology. Correct, or I will go to three. From two, I will go to three. Uh, diversity is very important. Gross gender inequality in technology is a problematic. If the technology reflects only the perspective of male, then it is this. A typical example is Wikipedia. Correct. So diversity of thought, broad discussion, gender inequality is one important aspect of diversity, and then you go and discuss this. Now with two, I can open. Suppose if you start with four. Suppose if you put four, where would you put four? Five one three to साथ में आ गए ना gender की बात हो रही है. Four को कहाँ डालोगे? Five one three gender की बात कर रहा है. बीच में तो four नहीं आएगा ना कि आएगा. Now look at what four says. While redressing unequal representation in the workplace, broader social change is needed to address. Okay, this you have discussed. Now, if you discuss this, what should come after? I am asking this question to all of you. You are all intelligent readers. While redressing unequal representation in the workplace is a step in the right direction. Comma. Look, understand. I have taught you grammar. When you discuss something with while, it means this idea is not so important as the idea that comes after it. Suppose if you say while uh, while LRDI, you know, while LRDI, take me down, LRDI and QA are important, you know, while LRDI and QA are important, one cannot. One cannot ignore VARC. What is the main idea of this sentence? Focus? क्या इस पे है या इस पे है? बताओ मेरे को जरा. 
as a reader what do you feel where is the author's emphasis aapne is pe kyu nahi kaha aapne is pe kyu kaha ki sir emphasis yahan pe ho raha hai batao mere ko kyu because structure aisa bana while india's batting lineup is good its bowling lineup cannot be ignored that means the coach is trying to tell the pakistan players that your focus is on india's batting but ensure that their bowling is not ignored so can i say the emphasis of the coach of pakistan is on india's bowling and not on batting are you getting my point the way the language has been structured the sentence has been structured i mean similarly while redressing unequal representation in the workplace is a step in the right direction while this is important broader social change is needed to iske baad kya discuss hona chahiye kya discuss hona chahiye broader social change isi ko leke aage badhoge na aap kyunki mudda to wahi hai and if mudda is that then how will it fit with the other three therefore four is the odd one out did you see the core idea of four is broad social change the core idea of the other three is gender equality that's why four is the odd one out you have to understand language and how it is structured that's the reason why i have so much emphasized on grammar that you do grammar and then you start your vrc course clear to all of you that how four is the odd one out because the core content of four has nothing to do with gender diversity it talks about broader social change aage badhe sabko samajh mein aa raha hai shall we go ahead people फर्स्ट हो गया सेकंड हो गया हाँ ये आया था लास्ट ईयर ये भी आया था प्लीज टेक दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ थीम बेस से कुछ नहीं होने वाला थीम बेस्ड ये होता है यूट्यूब पे चमकाने के लिए थीम बेस्ड अप्रोच यूज करोगे तो एक क्वेश्चन नहीं बनेगा कैट इट्स बेटर यू गो विद दी प्रॉपर पेरिंग एंड पैराजम्बल अप्रोच आंसर आएगा मोच मच मोर कॉन्फिडेंटली यू कैन मार्क दी आंसर प्लीज टेक दर्ड क्वेश्चन okay how would you go ahead
Phi two is a pair. All of you agree? Phi two is a pair, right? So that's a good job you do. Although most people find at least some forms of genetic engineering disquieting means basically disturbing. Disquieting means quiet tha, disquiet ho gaya, disturb kar diya. Although most people find at least some form of genetic engineering disquieting, it is not easy to articulate why. What is wrong with it is not easy. Hai na? One argument is that the drive for human perfection. So, uh, Although most people find at least some form of genetic engineering disquieting, it is not easy to articulate why. Correct? What is wrong with re-engineering of our nature? So this is a question that the author asks. What is wrong with re-engineering of our nature? One argument is that. So one argument, can I say, is basically argument as an answer to this question. What is wrong? The argument is that drive for human perfection through genetics is objectionable as it represents a bit for mastery that fails to appreciate the gifts of human powers and achievements. It is a bit for mastery and that is not, uh, that is not uh, advisable and that is basically the, uh, uh, the, one, the argument which you can put forward in, our, in response to the question that what is wrong with genetic engineering of our nature. So two and five form a pair, that means the answer has to be either from, so let's put, try to put one more sentence in this group. Kaise uh, hoga? Breakthrough genetics present us with promise that we will soon be able to prevent a host of debilitating disease and the predicament that of newfound genetic knowledge may enable us to enhance our genetic traits. Breakthrough in, in genetics present us with the promise that uh, we will soon be able to prevent host of debilitating diseases. And the predicament that our newfound genetic knowledge may enable us to enhance our genetic traits. And to grapple with the ethics of enhancement, we need to conf confront questions that verge on theology, which is why modern philosophers and political theorists tend to shrink from them. Ye enhance, is this enhance connected to this enhancement? How would you go about it? This is not going to be so easy. And what is this referring to here? The care with which philosophers examine arguments for and against forms of biotechnology makes this an excellent primer on formulating, assessing moral arguments. This an excellent primer. What is this referring to here? Where will this go if you at all pick this as, an, as, a, as, a, as a pronoun? It talks about moral art. I don't know. The care with which philosophers examine arguments for and against biotechnology makes this an excellent primer on formulating and moral arguments. It's not, it not connecting. Breakthroughs in genetics present us. Now, this talks about genetic engine. See, this is a pair, no doubt about it. What I see here is that to grapple with the ethics of moral enhancement. So this is basically the, the morality part of it that the author is discussing. To grapple with the ethics of moral enhancement, we need to confront questions that verge on the theology, which is why modern philosophers and political theorists tend to shrink from them. So they are shrinking from them. And they are assessing the moral arguments. So here, the, the, the philosopher is basically assessing the argument and here he's shrinking from them. So they would never be in the same paragraph. In fact, one and four are basically opposite pairs. So either one is the right answer or four is the right answer. Did you understand this? 
because in one the care with which philosophers examine the arguments and here it says that to grapple with the ethics of enlightenment we need to confront question that were on theology which is why modern philosophers and political theorists tend to shrink from them so both will not come so either one or four is the answer that is how it, it you can you can boil down to that means three is definitely a part of the argument you can't kick out three and keep four one together <laughs> it's not possible to iska matlab three to saath mein jayega to agar three or to go see it, it, it is becoming a logical reasoning rather than critical <laughs> rather than a odd one out so if you look at 3 2 and 5 it is one group and either one or four has to be the answer hai na ye ek answer do aise it is breakthroughs in genetics present us with the promise that we will soon be able to prevent a host of debilitating diseases and the predicament that our new found genetic knowledge may enable us to enhance our genetics theek hai नहीं जेनेटिक ट्रेस बेसिकली प्लूरल है सो इट विल नॉट बी दिस जेनेटिक ट्रेड इसको रेफर नहीं करेगा ठीक है ये प्लूरल है ये सब इज नॉट गोइंग टू लुक दैट वे सी यू सी हियर हाँ वॉट आई सी हियर इज दैट what i how i connect is that enhance our genetic trace to grapple with the ethics of enhancement you are forgetting these two connections hai na it enhance our trait and to grapple with the ethics of enhancement this is very very important connection so you start with 3 hai na or basically 3 you you put 3 and then you say that to grapple with the ethics of enhancement we need to confront questions that were on the theology theology basically means what uh, religion तो होता क्या है ना कि यू दिस दिस इज बेसिकली दर से दैट यू गो ऑन गो टू रिलीजन थियोलॉजी इज बेसिकली स्टडी ऑफ रिलीजन सो सो टू ग्रैपल विद द एथिक्स ऑफ एनहांसमेंट वी नीड टू कन्फ्रंट क्वेश्चन दैट वर्ज ऑन थियोलॉजी विच इज वाई मॉडर्न फिलोसफर्स एंड पॉलिटिकल थियोरीज टेंड टू शिंग फ्रॉम दैम सो दे डोंट टॉक अबाउट इट सो ऑल द मोस्ट पीपल फाइन एटलीस्ट सम फॉर्म ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग डिस्क्वाइटिंग इट इज नॉट इजी टू आर्ट One argument is that the drive for human perfection is obvious, है ना? So what I would say is, I would say that you start with three, है ना? मेरे को वो लग रहा है कि जो one है ना ये मुझको one में बहुत सारी दिक्कतें हो रही हैं, because if this has to be a part of the discussion, this will not go with any of the sentences. समझ में आ रहा है कि नहीं? इसको connection करने में बहुत दिक्कत हो रही है. No, no, no. Theology is basically the study of religion. So, how will philosophers will come into it? है ना? If the philosophers are shrinking from them, then you cannot say that let's put theology here. On the one hand, the philosophers are shrinking from them. On the other hand, they want to take theology as an extreme primer. नहीं बनेगा यार तुम जबरदस्ती का खींच रहे हो वालों में क्या? Three, two, four, five make perfect sense in the sense that you start with three saying that. breakthrough in genetics present us with promise that we will soon be able to prevent host of debilitating diseases and so on and so forth but then there is the 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 ethics of enhancement so there is a promise in biotechnology or genetics you can do lots of things but there is the ethics of enhancement and we need to confront questions on the verge of theology which is why modern because see it is disquieting it is disquieting means what it is disturbing and this disquieting of genetic engineering is also matching equally that there is a drive for human perfection hai na if you look at look at the theme look at how the similarities come here you are basically saying that uh, it is disturbing to many people here you say that this question should be taken to religion here you say that it is ob objectionable because of certain reasons so you मिसिंग ये कोई कहीं भी लेके जा रहा है अपने हिसाब से इट इज गोइंग एनी वेयर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर कन्वीनियंस वॉट इज रॉन्ग विदरिंग इज दैट वी नीड टू कन्फर्म क्वेश्चन विच इज ऑन थियोलॉजी हाँ मतलब ऐसा है कि यू आर ग्रैपलिंग विद एथिक्स ऑफ एनहांसमेंट सो so so you are trying to answer the question whether genetic engineering should be done or not 
है ना दिस इज द पॉइंट सो मेनी पीपल आर डिस्कटेड और डिस्टर्ब विद जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड द आर्ग्यूमेंट इज बेसिकली दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू एप्रिशिएट दिस अरे यार कहीं का भी लॉजिक मत लगाओ सर हेंस फोर हेंस फोर इज रिलेटेबल एज इट वाज लीव नेगेटिव कहां से नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट है यार यू सी अंडरस्टैंड यू ट्राई टू पुट इन दिस ये कहां जाएगा ये ये प्राइमर प्राइमर का मतलब क्या होता है प्राइमर इज बेसिकली अ थियरी और एन एसर्शन दैट हैज टू बी टेकन ट्रू कहां जिसके कहां लेके जाओगे इसको यार कहीं भी लेके जा रहे हो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन कहां से जस्टिफाई होना है What is a primer? Primer is basically a theory or an assertion, or is basically a sort of a sort of a principle. Actually, primer is basically a sort of principle. मुझे कोई principle नहीं दिख रहा इसके अंदर. This becomes very difficult to to justify, ना? Pronoun को कहाँ से कैसे खींचोगे आप? The pronoun needs to be put in the right place. ये तो बहुत difficult question लग रहा है मेरे को. I'm not finding it very easy to do this, but it's a difficult question. वो लगता है 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 बन गया, बन गया गया हो जाएगा इसका दैट्स द कॉल हैज बी टेकन वेरी क्विकली करना क्या है पढ़ते रहोगे तो पांच पढ़ निकल जाएगा इसके अंदर यार करते रहो करते रहो करते रहो मालूम पड़ा कि बाय अटेम्प्टिंग और बाय फाइटिंग विद वन क्वेश्चन इन फाइटिंग विद वन क्वेश्चन यू हैव लॉस फाइव सिक्स प्रेशियस मिनट दैट इज वॉट योर टाइमर इन दी एग्जाम शोज primer is a theory or assertion or some sort of principle when there is what i understand from the word primer mujhe to kahin bhi ye dikh hi nahi raha yaar ki primer kya hai ye to bol raha hai breakthrough genetics presence with a promise so this is not the, this is basically theek hai yaar so it is difficult actually but ha matlab one i think diya bhi answer wahi hai actually so let's go ahead and take the next question ye ho gaya kya nahi ye nahi hua Please try the fourth one quickly. जल्दी जल्दी खत्म करते हैं यार अभी तो खाली पांच ही छह क्वेश्चन हुए any 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 pair look at this but look at this but isko justify karna they claim to be indexed in the ye they kon hai fir kon hai yes who is they here ye they kon hai yaar ye question puchna sikho tab answer banega they claim to be indexed in most influential databases say say they possess ye dekh kon hai i think ye ye de hoga hoga to one iska matlab basically becomes a very very important uh, uh, ingredient of the india and at its center is the phenom ke baad tu to sahi nahi lag raha hai they claim to be indexed so these journals claim to be indexed in the most influential databases they possess editorial boards that compromise so they claim lots of things but in truth so truth can i say are opposite ideas yes or no the government claims that they have eradicated poverty by 4% but in truth 
So can I say that this claim and this in truth is basically balancing the word but, and therefore from one, you go to four, and from four, you go to two. Yes or no? Can I say this is the sequence one, four, two? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bishmit, teen bhi to aayega na? In look and feel, thus they are exactly like any. Hai na? Ye jo hai na? Ye thus kya hai? Conclusion hai na? So they claim to be indexed in the most influential databases. They possess lots of things. They claim to be this and that. And thus they are exactly like any other reputed general. But in truth, the, this is something different entirely. Do you see now? One, four, three, beach mein aayega. Field two, end mein aayega. Because if you don't put three in between, then three goes for a toss. So three, three, koi jagah nahi hai. So can I say out by doing so, you, you give the answer as five. Parajambal karke ban gaya. Such an easy question. So you compare this question with the earlier question. Kal mene kya kaha tha? Aapko yaad hai starting mein mene kya kaha tha? Ki the clues presented in easy questions are far greater in number than in, in the question which is difficult. Now if you look at this question here, there was the word but. There was the word they. Eventually, when you reach three, it struck you that three will come immediately after four because it is linguistically making sense with four. The content of three is a conclusive, uh, it's a con concluding idea based on what is given in four. So, four, three is a pair, it's a unit. And this four, three is a unit contrasts with two. Bahut easy, bahut easy, yaar. Ye. That's why, see, understand people. Cat mein pata hai kya hota hai? Easy questions are rare. And that's why when you reach those easy questions, you have to ensure that you get them correct. This will take you in the 95, 90. In fact, every year, when we publish our sectional cutoff or 90 percentile, uh, 90 percentile mark, at which score you will get 90 percentile, it is exactly equal to the number of easy questions. You count all the easy questions, all the three sections combined, multiply, multiply by three, that is your 90 to 94 percentile. That means almost 90 percent of the students who write CAT, they don't even get the easy questions correct, let alone the average and difficult questions. That is the uh, paradox of this. The quickness is very Swiftness in deciding to do it. Swiftness, you have taken a question, you have given it 40 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds, you have given it a day to minute. You have to do it, you have to do it, you have to do it. Because if you deliberate too much, that, that time wasted in deliberation is basic, is very precious. Seventh, so let's take, uh, let's take this one. This is a very, very good question. Fifth one. Cat 2017. Kai. Haan, 2017. Please try. Sabne e ma ke e sti any pair yes people koi pair ban raha hai kya you know what I see here is ye kya hai pronouns 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 I always tell look at the pronoun dekho ye de koi bhi bada pronoun nahi hai de refers to what people so a is definitely there ye kiske saath jayega you would never notice them if you are if you were sitting just with the child. them kya hai? This question will give you the entire set. 
you will never notice them if you were just sitting with the child but by watching a recording over and over you can spot them so can i say this them refers to कहां पर आ रहा है ये तो सिंगुलर है मतलब बच्चा ही नहीं दिख रहा है लोगों ने देम कौन है देम बेबीज है मतलब द बेबी इज सो ह्यूज एंड यू कांट इवन सी द बेबी इतना सटल हो गया है अरे यार कैसे हो सकता है डोंट 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 गो विद दिस काइंड ऑफ लॉजिक इट्स वेरी पुअर रीजनिंग व्हेन यू व्हेन यू से दैट यू कांट नोटिस दैट इट्स अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल थिंग तो इसका मतलब ये है कि इट इज रेफरिंग टू समथिंग मच मोर सटल एंड दैट कुड बी द साइंस इन हरी डोंट लूज योर कॉमन सेंस D can be a pair. Sometimes the signs are very subtle, and because they are subtle, you would never notice them. Can I say D is a pair? A to hona hi hai saath mein. Ab ek hi bachta hai. Ya fir answer B hai ya C hai. See immediately the moment you have a pair and you have an opening sentence different from the pair, you have the question correct. We just fifty fifty percent probability now. Everyone agrees that A will be the opening and D is a pair. Which one do you think will come with A, D, and E? You are watching the recording over and over. Recording हो रही है ना किसकी recording हो रही है movie की recording हो रही है नहीं recording हो रही है yes or no? Do you see these? They make films and examine them carefully. And by watching this recording again and again, they can. I hope you understand why C is the right answer. See, this question was not very easy. This question looks very simple, but if your presence of mind is not there, see, if you are in a nervous state, anxiety here, then it will not be made. That's why most of you, you have to train yourself psychologically. Ki yar, exam ke time pe mujhe hai na, I have to be myself because nothing paralyzes your thinking more than anxiety and nervousness. Clear to all of you people. I hope you realize now why the answer is C. And these kind of subtle things can only be noticed when you are in a relaxed state of mind. Sixth wala. Chalo yar last question hai. Sir, I guess the whole, the whole kya hai? The whole emphasis on film and what? Ha ha. Bilkul bilkul. Oh, films bana rahe hain, bar bar dekh rahe hain, aur kabi kabar subtle cheez dikh jati hai. So, was option three के लिए कोई जगह नहीं है इफ देर इज एनी ऑर्ड वन आउट इट हैज टू बी थ्री और एल्स इट्स पैर जगह कई बार ऐसा होता है दैट यू फील एवरीथिंग इज फिटिंग इन बट यू हैव टू मार्क वन एज दर्ड वन आउट वन सेंटेंस एज दर्ड वन आउट सो द वन दैट इज लीस्ट फिटिंग बाहर जाएगा सिक्स क्वेश्चन विल टेक दिस इज अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन येस्टरडे सेशन हैज बीन रिकॉर्डेड आई विल शेयर इट आई विल शेयर द यूट्यूब लिंक डायरेक्टली विद यू मैं यहां पे डाल भी देता हूं ठीक है आई विल शेयर इट हियर इन द मीन टाइम यू प्लीज सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स क्या लग रहा है आंसर क्या होगा एसी पेर है ऑल दो वी आर बॉर्न विद द गिफ्ट सी अगेन अ शॉर्ट वाइल्ड बैक आई हैड गिवन द एग्जांपल ऑफ वाइल्ड है ना वाइल्ड LRDI and QA are important. You cannot ignore VARC. So many of you told me 
that the emphasis of the of the speaker is on VARC and the importance of VARC. And therefore, in the subsequent sentence, he would elaborate on why VARC is very important. Because in the structure of the sentence, LRDI and QA have, have, have not been given the same level of importance. Similarly, although we are born with the gift of language, that means this is one part of the story. Research shows that we are surprisingly unskilled when it comes to communicating with others. So can I say that the focus of the author is on how we are unskilled when it comes to communicating with others? Yes or no? Don't you think this is the focus of the paragraph or the sentence? And in the subsequent sentences, you should elaborate on this. How the ideas are taken ahead from the main clause, not from the dependent clause. So when you say you, we are surprisingly unskilled, that means all the other sentences have to talk about how we are unskilled. We listen poorly, therefore we are unskilled. We talk more than we need to do, that's why we are unskilled. We often choose our words without thought, that, that's why we are unskilled. We must carefully orchestrate our speech if we want to achieve our... This is what irritates me the most. Do you see this? Ye se aa gaya? Goals, dreams. Don't you think that this is not matching in with the rest? In the rest, you are pointing out the, the, the shortcomings. And in B, you come and say that if you want to achieve your dreams, what has that to do with communication? So can I say B is the least, least uh, relevant sentence to the rest of no 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 we talk more because communication is not about one way speech communication kab hota hai jab samne wala sunta hai hai ki nahi dono taraf se hona chahiye na so listening and speaking are both very important components of communication we talk more than we need to okay theek hai achhi baat hai ab zyada bolte ho that is also a flaw in communication. Communication gap hai. Kyu hai? Ek jada bol hai. Ek bolta hai nahi. <laughs> Did you see? Did you understand these examples? So why poor communication? Because one is speaking too much and the other poor guy is keeping quiet, doesn't speak at all. Poor communication. <laughs> I hope he realizes now. So, so, so I think B has nothing to do with the entire story and therefore B is the odd one out. Clear to all of you people? So, see, understand, we have taken some quite manageable questions. We also took one very difficult question, very difficult in the sense that answers make confidence. In the so, there are two varieties of questions. One, which you will be doing with a certain hunch. I don't know what I'm doing. One will be that you know what you're doing. So those are the easy questions in which you are definitely sure of what you are doing. And that will fetch you the marks. In every paper, every mock that you write, you have to be sure that yes, this is what I am Clear to everyone, people? TK people, so now there are two sessions. Yesterday, Parajambal has been done. Today, odd one out has been done. Next week, what will I do? RC will be done. I will pick all the cumbersome RCs. And I will show you that which RCs are very difficult, but they are not very difficult. I will also pick. This answer is two. Yes, B, B, B. B is a suggestion. It can come towards the end. But the flaw is basically with this part. The author talks about communication and you're talking about achieving your goals to realize your dreams and all. Please tell approach. Kis ke andar approach bataun? RCs ke liye. Approach to CAT 22. Dekho bhaiya, aane wale dino mein ek hi kaam karna hai. Jo aapne purani cheeze karke chhod diye ho. Conceptually practice karo. Go and revisit the questions. Practice as much as possible. Log bol rahe roj mock likho. Mera kena roj mock likho ke to pagal hi ho jao ke. Revision ka time to hona chahiye. Aaj bande ne mock likha. To aaj mock likho. Do ganta aram karke fir revision karo. Thik hai. 
दो घंटे का मॉक होगा दो घंटे का आराम तीन घंटे का रिविजन फाइव आवर्स ऑफ हार्ड कोर स्टडी मैं पेपर पर मैं कैट जाता हूँ क्वेश्चन को गेट अ फील ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैसा है मतलब आई आई गो विद इंटेंशन ऑफ चेकिंग की इस साल कैसे पढ़ाऊंगा बच्चों को कीपिंग द क्वेश्चन इन माइंड so i go there more as a more as a more as a critique of the paper dekhna hai na ki kaisa question aaya kya aaya to solve karta hu khali lrdi hai theek hai chalo people i will share the link hai na i have shared the link already ha ha wo question kiya hai british wala na maine karaunga wo question pe theek hai watch this this session yesterday session ka link hai ye निकल तो नहीं है क्लास हफ्ते में दो दिन होगा नेक्स्ट वीक से दो दिन होगा ठीक है इन द मीन टाइम खूब प्रैक्टिस करो और आई हैव पुट द चैनल लिंक बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस हैं इस पे आपको पूरा इसको सॉल्व करो बैठ के ठीक है यू हैव इनफ अरे मैराथन यार आधे लोग वैसे भाग जाते हैं चालीस लोग बैठे हुए थे पैंतीस चौब चौबीस तो अभी हो गए एक घंटे में ठीक है चलाता हूँ ठीक है चलो दिन बाय फॉर टुडे नहीं डेली तो देखता हूँ मैं हो नहीं पाएगा एक्चुअली डेली बट एज द एग्जाम कम्स नियर आई विल टेक डेली ठीक है डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट चलो बाय थैंक यू बाय ठीक है